so I've just played through the second DLC for Bioshock Infinite titled Burial at Sea Episode 1, and here are a few of my thoughts. Well, first off, Rapture is absolutely beautiful. It truly is a grand sight to see the city before it turned into the war-torn nightmare that we all know and love. Along with the great visuals, you'll get to see some familiar faces both in person and through scattered boxophones, which help bridge the gap between Bioshock and Skyoshock. Now, as for the story as a whole, this DLC does a great job in creating suspense. It does this first by the fact that you as the player aren't exactly sure of how exactly Booker and Elizabeth are both in Rapture but don't know each other. And the second way it does this is through the environment and combat. Stealth is heavily encouraged through this edition, and engaging in open combat can often prove to be a faulty move against a horde of angry splicers, even with new weapon and tear options available. But I know that I can say for certain that even having an understanding of the plot in Bioshock Infinite did not prepare me whatsoever for the curveball that this DLC threw at me. Now, I personally purchased the season pass for this DLC, so for me, it's already pay for. However, if you decide to pay for this out of pocket, just keep in mind that it is rather short, it being the first chapter out of two. However, if you feel the need to get your next fix out of the Bioshock saga, or once again wish to venture to the libertarian nightmare that lurks somewhere beyond the sea, then I would absolutely recommend checking this out. Would you kindly? See what I did there?